Many, many times of being very close to that position. Are we seeing uh, his Ridley? We are seeing Tweak play Ridley. All right, so this is one of the best parts about this player is that he's so good at the game with many, many characters that, you know, maybe in these early rounds of pools, he just wants to show us something. He's trying to, he's trying to show us a stream of light out here. Oh, so it's a wild choker, bro. Just oh. use those guys all greens, <laughs> find them where the tracks are. Oh, Ooh, I love that. Using the command grab to just dive over the arc of the can. Yeah, and it was, and the tech chase the platform. It covered mo almost every option there. And the up smash right there. Ridley's up smash hitting, starting from the behind him. Yeah, and so low to the ground. As soon as that foot gets off the ground, there's an active hitbox. And we saw that. That's kind of cheating. Yeah, <laughs> right? We saw that be the answer to Choco Bros landing. And we're going to see Tweak also shoot the plasma at the can, reversing yeah. the direction that the uh, consequent um, shots are going to go at. Yeah, any hitbox that hits the can will hit it in the opposite direction. Oh, but smart of the Choker Bro to just use that at, for his setup right there. And this Duck Hunt looking pretty good, man. He's got decent control over his projectiles. Of course, Tweak's such a force to be reckoned with, right? He can rip through a lot of this defensive play just with smart, aggressive reads. But uh, a wild Choker Bro still holding his own. Yeah, and he's, he's just doing good options. Oh, but as I say that, the, what's the Frisbee? Clay Pigeon, that, yeah. That's what it's called, Fry Pigeon? Clay Pigeon. Oh, okay. Ooh, down, down smash. Nobody, nobody knows how to DI that. Right, yeah. <laughs> it definitely takes you a second to adjust and be like, oh, yeah, right. It's, uh, it's going to send me it's, behind it's this way. It's a cloud down smash, for yeah. example. We see Joker Bros setting up these projectiles. I love that. The dash into up tilt off yeah. the clay pigeon. Some optimal combos here. And he's getting a massive damage from these strings. Really being a big character does not help him. And it's basically even right now. It really is. And oh, Joker Bro forgetting that one out that Tweak had to that situation, which was to land on the platform. And we see him using Ridley's jumps just to get around these projectiles, but dropping the percent lead here. Yeah. I think even if Joker Bro gets a game, that's basically an upset. But we'll probably see Tweak get right off Ridley. Oh, oh my. Ooh, all right, drops the stock. Now we see Tweak on the chase. What's he gonna do from this edge guard situation? Just go into the jab, get some damage. Let's, he's off stage, trying to secure the stock. And I like to can to cover to cover him, but it didn't meet past the stage, so it didn't fulfill his job. Oh, but right there. So Got clean with the, the cannons in there too. Yeah. Using the can right there to get him off the grab. Good job, Toby. Might actually have to get one one of these. Oh, and still close enough for that can explosion to hurt him. One of the downsides and also advantages of Duck Hunt's can is that it can hit him. Sometimes it saves you, but sometimes you just take a little bit of that residual explosion damage. Yeah, and it, that explosion damage definitely did not help him right there with Tweak hitting the can back to secure that second stock. Wow, we got the gunman into the forward smash. A lot of damage here from a wild choker bro. Seems like Tweak had enough of these setups. Right, yeah. yeah. He just wants to hit him with big buttons, but not the easiest task, especially when your hurt box is as big as a character like Ridley. Yeah, but with these shields, shield bounce, having the can bounce off it, and it's just exploding in choker bro's face. So smart, while holding shield, he pressed B just to activate the can and prevent that command grab from coming through. Deep. Oh, going deep. Oh, that actually that took, took him. him out. Yeah, I think he DI'd off stage. All right, well, that was a nice forward air, I guess. Yeah. But, man, such a low percent, too. Tweak clutching that one out wasn't looking so good for him. Ridley, of course, a character who's kind of easy to abuse with his giant hurt box, especially if you're a projectile-based character. That forward air did, like, 19 damage and took him out. Of course, they're so deep in the blast zone that yeah. pretty much had to breathe on Duck Hunt to take them out. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it is. That, it's a much stronger move than one would give it credit for. So, is Tweak going to stay Ridley? Mega respect if he does, because that was a little too close for comfort. Yeah. But if he doesn't, I totally understand as well. I, I think I'd respect him more for switching, just because it means he's taking his opponent seriously. He's like, all right, you know what? I was trying to flex with this Ridley, trying to show you guys my deep character pool. But this guy's kind of good. Yeah. So maybe I got to bust out the big guns. Got to put some respect on Chocobo's name. <laughs> Absolutely. Stop, All right, what are we seeing? Okay, it's going to be Young Link. I like this choice. 
really get the best of everything with this character. You've got projectiles, you've got a sword, you've got a lot of movement speed. You've got a pretty good recovery, too. Yeah. When this, before this game came out, speculation to be the best character in the game. Kind of didn't meet, meet the expectation, but that's a great character. A lot of people definitely did have him slated pretty highly yeah. to be one of the best. You know, during like the mall demo and stuff, when we first got our taste of these characters, just seemed like, again, this guy's got everything, right? Combos, decent kill power, not the greatest, of course. I think that's really where we're going to see him struggle. But with the right setups, you can take stocks pretty early with Young Link. Yeah. And just look at him. So he was basically using his projectiles. Oh, Tweak. No, you didn't have to do all that. Oh, but maybe you did. Oh, my God. And we saw that all off of a landing back air one. Turned into two more back airs to forward air. Then I believe they traded with the can. And you know what? Maybe people were right. He might be the best. Young Link? Yeah, Young Link. Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked, right? Like in this game, having a tether grab isn't the worst thing anymore because yeah. all grabs are kind of bad. Yeah. And that really held back the Link characters for a long time. Definitely. Oh, man, this item play so clean, creating that wall with the bomb coming down, covering ledge jump, covering stand up even. And he's just going right. off. There you go, having that long grab range. So good with Young Link's kit in mind, right? Yeah. Just the context of that tether grab becomes a lot better when you have projectiles forcing him to shield so frequently. And let's see how he finds his landing. And Chocobro, he's been basically trying to gather himself this entire game. Yeah, we saw him do so well against the Ridley, right? But I would say that has a lot to do with the matchup. Just the character build of Ridley, even down to his actual build physically, is so good for Duck Hunt to go up against. But Young Link, yeah. just doing the same thing, only a little bit faster. And again, with a sword attached. Yeah. And you saw um, Tweak held that bomb when he got grabbed, just so he could get off the grab situation. And it would basically cover mostly all his options. Week. Looking for some kind of kill conversion here. We saw him landing that back air one. Unfortunately, it looks like he dropped the input afterward. And a forward tilt going to clean it up. All right. Not a bad position to be in. Up two stocks to, or, well, three stocks to one, but with a two stock lead. All right, let's see what we get off here. And Tweak's just moving. He's I, mixing I, right now. He looks like he's in turbo mode. Oh, uh -huh. you know what he wanted. Yeah. You know he was looking for that up B to close it out with a three stock. Tweak. Coming from almost dropping a game to almost three-stocking his opponent. We'll see if that actually is going to come through. No, yeah, the down no. smash. Good job to Chocobo. Not letting it. Let's see if he gets out to JB, though. Like the Z-drop there. Nah. With the bomb in hand. But yeah, man, not enough. And we're going to see Tweak walk away with a clean JB three-stock to close that set out. What started as something pretty close and intense between these two has since devolved into yeah. a complete devastation. <laughs> that nice, was, nice that was a body bag. Yeah. All right. Well, not much else to expect from one of the front runners for best, uh, in the world. best in the world. Of course, a little bit behind, I believe, in terms of PGR stats. Beginning with the Genesis season where MKLeo was the first place winner. Yeah. Um, but, of course, there's so much more to go. We've got until the end of June, I believe. Or okay. so yeah, I think That's before Evo? End of June or end of July. I believe... Evo is either the last event of this season or it's the first event next yeah, season. Yeah, that's how it usually runs. Yeah, it's that, that six-month period. So.